What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. Uh, this is Linkster 101, JP. The cussing is back. The loudness is back. Get ready for it. Uh, sorry, guys. I haven't been here for a while because I've been working overtime. So we don't have Los with us today because fuck him. That's why. And, uh, of course, my sister's not here today either. And M is with her family. So uh, it's just me and Elias, the man behind uh, all the devices and things of that nature. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we have a lot, of get, a lot to get into. So let's go ahead and start off. Uh, drum roll. So the Sonic movie has been delayed till February 14th, 2020. And the reason for that is because they need, <laughs> they need more time. To fix their fucked up Sonic that Boo, they presented to us. Babies. Should have left it as it no, was. no, no, no. I'm glad. Go back. Redo that shit. They're honoring the the fans of the video games as they should. What that's, fans? That's why they're making What fans? Everybody likes Sonic, bro. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, what happened to Sega? Boo. I'm, <laughs> I'm from the 90s, man. I remember all of the Sonic games. They were fun. They're great. They still are great to this day. So they're pushing it back. I think it's a wise choice. Uh, in my opinion, because they're honoring the fans. Only gaming fans really are going to go. Uh, the 80s cartoons uh, of the Sonics, they don't appear anymore. Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. I don't think they appear anymore. So, yeah. I mean, this will bring, you know, uh, old the old fans back out and to watch Sonic. And who doesn't love a good Sonic the Hedgehog experience? So, I'm hoping that it works out for them because they've released some shitty games recently, too. Uh, the last one for Xbox was trash. Uh, but you know, kudos to them. They came out on Twitter. They said, Hey, we're going to change it. We're going to do our best. And I, I respect that. Elias is a hater, but I respect it. What Not do you think, really. Elias? I don't like that. They, they came down to the pressure of people bitching about it. Like you, you had a vision of for this. This isn't just something they came up with like yesterday. So you want it to be so, like Game of Thrones where they don't give a fuck. I mean, really? It doesn't really matter. They're acting like this movie is going to be like a blockbuster movie. Hey man, done right. It can be. They got Jim Carrey in there. Uh, uh, they have. Okay, what has he done in like? <laughs> hey man, Jim Carrey's box office. I mean, he's done since when? When is the last time? Man, he did uh, the the uh, 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 the Grinch. Boy, that was like in the, <laughs> like early two thousand. Hey, look, man, Jim Carrey is the Grinch, the Mask, uh, Dumb and Dumber. I mean, the the last one was a flop, but I mean, let's give him credit. He's gonna try. This is gonna be a kiddie movie. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be adult ish in any way, shape, or form. So it might surprise you. I mean, you yeah, never know. I wanted to go see it as it was, but nah, I don't know about as it was. It looked all. Wow. Oh wow. Our word. Come on, man. God dang it. Anyway. Anyway, moving forward. So that happened over the week, and then something else came out, which made me happy because I'm a huge fan of a Terminator One and Terminator Two movie. So uh, Terminator Two movie is one of my, probably one of my favorites of all time. And uh, James Cameron quit after that. And then we had a series of stupid Terminator movies. Uh, Terminator 3 was trash. Uh, which one's the one with Christian Bell? Salvation, I think. Salvation, trash. And then there was another one that came out, which just fucked up the whole storyline. Uh, uh, Genesis. And um, that one was really, really bad. So James Cameron came back on board. So did the original uh, actor who played um, John Connor's mom, Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor. And uh, so we got a, a teaser of it. And to be honest, to me, it looks interesting. I'm not going to say it's it guaranteed. <laughs> I thought it looked interesting. It's a new Terminator. It's different. It's a whole different sequence, a different child. Uh, we don't know much about the story. As I mentioned before, it's a teaser. Call to John. <laughs> mm, um, that's a good looking boy well I mean it looked interesting I don't know who the new Terminator guy is who is he I don't know it must be some random actor uh, cause I don't know I don't know none of the actors except Sarah Connor and I don't even know her name <laughs> <laughs> I don't I just know her as Sarah it's Connor Sarah Connor I mean, yeah, just, that's, that's, that's all I know her I know she was in other movies but what other movies was she in man she was in a couple in the 80s uh, th th she was a, in, a, in a couple, mm. but uh, it turns is directed by Tim Miller. Oh no! Oh, I mean, why? Why do you say oh no? This is the guy who directed Deadpool one. Deadpool one was good. What are you talking about? Nah. 
I mean, I don't like that pull. Oh my god. Anyway, I have great hope for the franchise because I feel like this is a step in the right direction of getting James Cameron back on board, fixing the whole timeline. They're going to skip three. They're going to skip Salvation, Genesis, like if those were never created. I wish Game of Thrones would do that with their last episodes. But whatever. Um, so I have great hope. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, uh, comes out briefly. He's old as hell. Um, we'll see what he what he has to do in there. I'm assuming he's not a Terminator. I'm assuming he's a normal human being, which uh-huh. would be pretty cool. But terrible. yeah, but I mean, this is this is a week of trailers because not only that, we also got Quentin Tarantino's ninth film. Remember, he said he's only going to do ten films. Uh, his tenth film is going to be his last one. And this is his ninth film, and it's called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it's based on, um, what's that guy's name? Charlie Manson? Is it? Uh, yes, it's based on uh, uh, loosely around Charlie Man- Manson, the, where he killed those people from Hollywood. Um, as you all guys well know, he died and uh, passed away. when they Well, they killed him, really. I think, um, no, did he pass away or did he? <laughs> I don't know. Keep up uh, with murderers? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> he died. <laughs> uh, he died. So it's based loosely on that. They even showed a clip. Of the actor who's gonna play him, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's in here. We got Brad Pitt. Uh, we got the guy from Justified. We have Margot Robbie. Um, there was a bit of a controversy right recently with that movie because the people who have seen it have claimed, uh, well, you know, uh, uh, that uh, there was not a line, not a lot of lines for Margot Robbie. Okay. Supposedly, I mean, I don't know. It's big hubaloo, 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 whatever they call that. Um, it's a load of shit, in other words. But I'm excited for it. It looked really good to me. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, I'll watch any fucking movie he's in. He's that fucking good. Um, are you excited to see it, Elias? Not really. It doesn't look that interesting. I mean, I like the actors, but... Do you know what it's based on, though? No. It's the killings of, of, of uh, uh, Charlie Mason. Charlie Mason? Yes. Chale, Chale Mason. That was Manson. Manson, there you go. <laughs> Mason, Manson. Spell the exact same way, guys. But yeah, it's based on on his murders because he uh, he had a couple of followers that killed uh, certain people from um, uh, Hollywood, uh, certain actors. Um, I, I suggest you guys look at that. There's a lot of documentaries over that. It's very creepy and scary how this guy was able to control people. Uh, so essentially, uh, from what I'm aware of and what I remember, he told, like, this guy was like, uh, a cult, it was a cult and he convinced his followers to go murder, uh, people in Hollywood. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So that's what it's based on. So I don't know if you noticed in the trailer, there's this part where Brad Pitt is like with this girl and this girl's like, yeah, you need to come to the meeting. And then like, he's surrounded by all these people. Um, that's what it's based oh, okay. on. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm watching the trailer now and I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a sound on, but I, I, I get the gist. <laughs> yeah, so just put it right where I'm talking. People will get it. It's based on Char- uh, Charlie Mason's... Uh, Mason? Ma- Mason? What, is it? what the fuck is it? <laughs> Whatever the hell it is, it's based on that. All right, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Quentin Tarantino has only failed me one time, when? I would say, with The Hateful Eight. That was a good movie. It was uh, I like that one. It was I. Uh, everything else I pretty much liked. I mean, I didn't watch it in theaters, but when it was on Netflix, I did watch it. It was I, pretty good. I mean, Reservoir Dog was great. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh, that's my uh, favorite one. Uh, Django. Uh, Django was good. Um, yeah. What other movies did he make? Um, da, 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 da. Uh, it was... Um, uh, um, I'm trying to think here. Fuck. I can't remember. I know it's Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, uh, Hateful Eight. Uh, oh, my gosh. They're skipping. They're like... I know, I know I'm skipping game. something. Well, there's eight others. <laughs> so, what, 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 the point is, the point is, uh, it's going to be a great movie. Did he, he do Bill, Kill Bill? Yeah, Kill Bill. Kill Bill 1 and 2, yeah, right? Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> I guess, I guess. But he's, he's only supposed to set 10 movies. So, the majority, except for Kill Bill 2, I think. The, the ending of Kill Bill 2 kind of was kind of trash. Oh, he did from Dust Till Dawn. That's a good one. Oh, Dust Till Dawn. Yes, that was a good one. Yeah, that was so, a good one. So, too. I mean, he's done really, really good movies. Um, so, I'm very excited for it. Uh, I know Elias is excited for Sonic. He's going to go Hell watch yeah. it. Man, I wanted to watch it as it was. Hopefully, oh, they release like the original version too, like like on the Blu-ray or whatever. I think that would be a good thing. Good well, thing. we'll good see. Uh, we'll all see. right, so he did uh, Death Proof, Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards was good. So Kill Death Bill, Proof was Lando all right. Chain, Hateful Eight, Once Upon a Time in, uh, in, Mexico, in Hollywood. Yeah. And what? An Untitled Star Trek Project? 
It's it's not done yet. Is a Star Trek movie? He, he's oh Jackie Brown. Actually, I just saw Jack, Jackie Brown. I think this year it was decent. Yeah, he has a couple of, eh, but the other ones are really really good. Um, so moving on to insert Los Sports. 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 Space Sports. It's a home run. Um, it's a dunk. touchdown. It's a goal. It's a goal. <laughs> <laughs> goal. <laughs> Okay, guys. So over the week, not much has happened wait, in sports. We did gaming. You didn't do the pew 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 pew. No, we're doing sports though. Oh wait, we did pop. It was, yeah, we, we just did pop. Pop. Yeah, we're all over the place, guys. We pop. do need those to do, do those, those introductions. So um, <laughs> we are doing sports. Uh, there's not much to cover right now as far as NFL um, is pretty much died down. Um, I don't watch soccer. Um, you don't watch baseball, man. I do not watch baseball. I stopped watching baseball in 2005 as the Astros gave away the real team. And I but said, they won a championship. <clears throat> That's fine. I'm happy for them. <laughs> Don't give two craps. Come on. I thought you were supposed to, like, you know, root for the home team. No, baseball's dead to me. Baseball's boring. takes too long. Everyone's like, oh, yeah. it's more exciting when you go to the actual game. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. And then you got a brew in your hand. Deep in the heart of Texas. Like, come on, dude. Really? Yes. And I know that since from 2005. <laughs> come on. You guys are lame. Houston fans are such bandwagon fans. Anyway, moving forward. So right now, um, uh, I guess Elias can cover the baseball part. I don't know. I do not watch baseball. <laughs> I don't watch baseball. I do not. <laughs> that goes to show you. No one watches baseball. Uh, I mean, Lowe's started watching watch baseball sports like sports a year ago. Um, so yeah. as far as uh, what I do watch is basketball. And basketball is in the heat of the battle. We all know Golden State won. Um, so kudos to them, I guess. Uh, they Is, pretty uh, much basketball your favorite sport? I would say basketball and football. Do you like the way they dribble it up and down the court? I guess, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you're trying to go with. All I'm trying to say is I love the sports. <laughs> anyway, um, right now, Toronto Raptors went into Milwaukee in game uh, five and won a decisive uh, game five. They're up three two right now. They play today. We might know who the who the champion. Uh, who, um, who the? How is Toronto struggling against Milwaukee? Like I don't understand. I feel oh, like, Milwaukee's a beast. I, I feel like there's only one guy, and that's it on that. No, team. Milwaukee's a beast. They have Middleton. They have a uh, Bledsoe. They have uh, uh, Drew Brooke Bledsoe? Lopez. They have uh, Brooke Lopez. Yeah, they have Brooke Lopez. <laughs> uh, they have man. They got a squad. They got Brogdon. They have a squad there. Nah, uh, they just it have just sounds to. Sounds like they got two people now. No, they don't. They, they were number one on defense for a reason, and they are where they are now. I mean, it's I the think, East too. I mean, uh, the East is really it's a lot harder now. I would say <laughs> it's not the 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 piece of crap that Jane, LeBron James was. Was playing in for all those hey, years. Don't, don't sully his holy name. Like oh, that. speaking of, you know what? Over the week, so speaking to NBA, uh, Magic Johnson came out and was like, I, uh, I quit for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? He was like, I quit for a reason. I quit because the Lakers. I quit because the Lakers are trash. And he was right. The Lakers are trash. Uh, the the owner, Lakers are what? Trash. No, uh, but what'd you say before that? I said quit because I, I mess. You know how I be messing up sometimes when I be talking fast because. <laughs> All right, go on. I'm sorry. I don't know what Man. you're saying. Okay, <laughs> Magic Johnson had to sit down on first take with Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman, who I freaking hate because he's annoying. Did you see the baby memes? Yeah, those baby memes were hilarious. <laughs> Did you see Stephen A. He yeah. came out and he was like, "Is this what y'all want? Is this what y'all want?" Anyway, uh, you right? guys are killing me with that too. That's hilarious, especially when I do the voice. <laughs> He wanted a month. Uh, who said he wanted a month? Oh, I'm crack. Um, <laughs> so Magic Johnson came out and was basically like, "I left the Lakers because I did not have power there. They were backstabbing me behind my back, talking mess behind my back." Rob Palenka, uh, who used to be the the uh, manager of Kobe Bryant, uh, was saying all these things, and that's why I quit. Was wasn't it too? He was saying that the uh, uh, what are the names of the. Uh, the bus brothers, the bu- yeah, that they they were trying to uh, they were yes. they were upset that he was the one in charge. Correct, of them. correct. Yeah. And I mean, I get that because uh, that's the family because that's their business. The Lakers are their business. Yeah, but I mean, when they're being like that, like being petty like that, is that's not business. Yeah, so I, it's not a healthy environment. So I think Magic Johnson did the right thing. But my thing is, he said that at the very beginning when he he got the job with the Lakers, he pretty much stated that he was going to be a part time. 
uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, president of operations, and I'm like, you can't do that. Either you're in it or you're not. Yeah, that's true. And so in that area, I see what a lot of people talk mess about him. I get that. But at the same time, I mean, it just makes it makes me right even more. I, I, I always said that if LeBron James went to the Lakers, he would never win a championship. He will never win a championship. But that's it's not over. on LeBron, though. Uh, that's not on LeBron, but it is. <laughs> no, you know what? Correction, it is on LeBron. Because, because you knew the Lakers were a piece of crap team before going there you had a chance to join the rockets okay but that's uh, how, is, how to, is that his fault that he went there and then magic because left you look at they had Lonzo, that the year that he magic made, said nothing about lebron at all you're defending the lakers and i know you i'm not lakers. defending the lakers they I'm, just, suck. I'm just challenging LeBron what you're James, saying everyone's like oh lebron james will make the playoffs next year no they he will not he will not the west is too stacked he has no help he, they're they're praying and hoping. That's fine. A free the, agent comes. the Lakers can suck. That's fine. But what you're saying is, is LeBron had something to do with it. He did it. <laughs> he joined a sucky team. Okay. Okay. So he's not gonna win a championship ever again. It's over. Okay. Where do we go from Magic Johnson leaving to LeBron James he, sucks because okay. the Lakers? Okay. Suck. So basically, Magic Johnson <laughs> when he got on there, he offered and made promises to LeBron James. LeBron right. James at that point in time when he went to the Lakers, he had been speaking about going to the Rockets. He had been you speaking know he about going go to, there regardless because his family's there. Yeah, yeah, I know. He was I mean, speaking about going who, to uh, who Toronto. Was talking to him they about had him that. going to Toronto. They had him going to Philadelphia. Um, and these are all great teams who have a chance. No, to I think I think he's done trying to win a championship. To be honest, if anything, he's probably gonna retire pretty soon. Yeah, and, I, and that's why I'm saying like he. I, I don't want to hear nobody mention him in the in the breath of Michael Jordan. Um, he he basically. Uh, I mean, uh, when he was dominant. I mean, when he was dominant, teams, he, was he taking, didn't even win. He took, and people hand, forget, he took, he taking took teams to the to the finals, finals against the Spurs. And I mean, the Spurs were loaded. Uh, Put it to you this way. It's like Golden State facing Sacramento in, in the finals. Like, that's how bad it was. Yeah. Uh, so, and not this year's of Sacramento. Last year's or two years ago. So, I mean, I, feel, I, feel, I, I don't feel bad for him because he made that decision. But uh, Magic Johnson fucked up. He's out. Uh, and then, uh, he said, too, that he didn't like that the fact that he was trying to fire Luke Walton. But they and they didn't, didn't want to let they him. Didn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let, want to let him. And then he said, how are you not going to let me fire Luke Walton if you said I have full control of the team? So he said that was the last straw. Like, that he was said stupid. That, I mean, I agree with him. I would have loved to. Like, fuck it. But he, supposedly, too, that he said that he, they're so cool, like him and Jim. I don't know how that's possible. Like, we, just, we just had uh, dinner last night. Oh, it was fun. <laughs> like, afterwards. Well, you know, he... I mean, Magic he, Johnson just wants to be cool with everybody. He yeah, that was he's always too. been. He said he didn't like that. He kind of had to like he couldn't c- congratulate any player on any opposing team because you know they're yeah the, they're which is the stupid rivals they're the competition and he just didn't like the flow of that either. Well, I feel like he, the Lakers right now they're a mess. They're gonna be they're like to me like Sacramento, but Sacramento's actually better because they have better talent. So we'll see how it goes for them. Do I wish them the best? No, I never liked <laughs> the Lakers, um, so I never do wish them the best. And uh, the, to me, they're like. The, the the cowgirls in the same area, so hopefully they never win a championship ever again. But uh, so yeah, Magic Johnson, that was that was really really big. Not only that, of course, we have the Raptors uh, beating Milwaukee at Milwaukee, as I mentioned before at the very beginning. And I mean, this is ride or die. And if Milwaukee wants to be a championship team, they have to beat them at Toronto. And the thing is, headlines. This dude is headlines in sports. I can't believe it, Drake. So Drake uh, in the yeah. games, you know what I'm saying? He be having all that time clapping or whatever, going to the coach, massaging his shoulder, saying bye to all these players, and he's gaining on the players' nerves and the coach's nerves. On the opposite team. On the opposite team, of course. And uh, he's pumped, he's hyped, and he was in the news because, you know, the coach was like, we should have better class, people should know better, he shouldn't have those type of seats. But the thing is, the, the coach is too focused on Drake. He needs to focus yeah, on his players. Yeah, that's true. I was like, who really cares what Drake is doing? He's not in your team. He's not yeah. bothering you. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, care so about? in other words, if I were players, I would use that as motivation to shut him up. But, you know, hey, Drake, Drake being Drake, I, I love Drake, man. He, he badass. He's making yeah, that music. You know I'll, what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll take some Drake. And shout out to my cousin Leo, who's in Toronto. Um... Born and raised in Toronto, uh, and uh, Damn, R.I.P. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, he's coming down on July, so we might have him on the show. But yeah, uh, he's coming uh, down here. Hopefully, he'll maybe have a finals. I'm, 
I'm unfortunately going to say that I'm rooting for Milwaukee. I hope Milwaukee wins this game and the Why? next game because they have depth and length and they can beat the Warriors. And they've done it twice in the regular season easily. And because uh, the Warriors don't have the length and they're too it small. It doesn't matter who the so Warriors I'm hoping. face now. It's just, nah, 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 nah. nah. Waiting nah, nah, nah. And the they beat him with Kevin Durant, healthy. So, nah, 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 nah. They're just like, let me see what kind of ring size we're going to get this time. Nah, hell nah. Whoop that ass, Milwaukee. Whoop that, whoop that ass. Because Kawhi Leonard is injured, bro. He's hobbling. That's fine. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. It doesn't matter who they face. It's, it's in hey, the automatic You sound like Lowe's now, bro. You uh, definitely we, been sound saying like Lowe's. From, be- from the beginning. Man, fuck. Fuck Lowe's it was even be- Warriors. It was even before fuck the Lowe's playoffs. and like, the Warriors. Who's beating the Warriors? No, I I'm going to beat the Warriors by myself. Uh, okay. On NBA you put the game sliders all the way up? <laughs> Automatic I'm going to mod that hoe. <laughs> Automatic threes. So, yeah, guys. This is what's happening in sports. Space works. Um, So, we're going to shift our gears. Shift the gears? <laughs> What and, the uh, fuck kind of gears do you have, bro? They're, they're, they're rusty. You need to go somewhere to check yeah. that shit out real quick. <laughs> you want some WD-40 for that? Woo! WD-40. Y'all guys should check it out with Russ, man. It works like a charm. So, um, in gaming, so we have the next Call of Duty, yep, 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 yep. Uh, which is a soft reboot. Game which I'm over. trying to understand. <laughs> it's rumored to be named Call of Duty Modern War- War- Warfare. Yeah, so this is a... Uh... Supposedly, it's been confirmed by like jur- journalists, uh, as in uh, Jason Schreier, who's like one of the top gaming journalists. Uh, so Kotaku he made a, a a report that uh, so basically the next Call of Duty is gonna be a soft reboot. And but what does a soft reboot mean? It's in, it's it's in the in the same light as what they did with God of War, what they did with Tomb Raider, and uh, what they did with Mortal Kombat. No, but Tomb Raider was a remake. No, but the it first... was a, but it's a soft reboot. Like they're not continuing the story, but they're not really changing the whole thing up at the same time. So zombies is gonna be on there. Oh, <laughs> the fuck do I know? I don't know. <laughs> zombies gonna be there. Zombies. That's all I care about. Zombies. But, uh, yeah, like supposedly they had like a closed session where they showed the game to some like like media journalists, ju- journalists and stuff like that. Um, and supposedly yeah, they saw the name that it's called Call of Duty. Modern, modern, modern. F- fuck! Now you got me doing it. Yeah. Modern warfare. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, so the- but the thing is, is that this it, that name has already come up before in part four, where it was just Call of Duty Four, Modern Warfare. But now it's just without the four. It, it, Call of Duty makes no sense when it comes to titles. I don't think they're meant to to for the titles. They're there for the gameplay. Um, it. I I still don't understand what a soft reboot is. Are you trying to? I just it, told you. No, because they're gonna because t- you still have a story mode. Yeah. So I mean, and you still have the same game. The sur- story mo- mode is coming back. Uh, but that's what I'm saying though. It's 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 like they're saying, okay, uh, everything we've done in the past is kind of being redone again. So it's a remake. I mean, you can call it a remake. Okay, so let's not say reboot then. It's a remake. Well, no, it's not a remake because it's not a <laughs> it's not of the original. Man, it's a reboot. Man. Screw Call of Duty. No, but uh, I, I, I hope for them they bring all that stuff back. They really have fallen off, I think. Um, I mean, I've enjoyed all the CODs except for Infinite Warfare, which I didn't even touch at all. This shit looked awful. Like, mm-mm. Mm. Well, I, I barely touched Modern Warfare, but I, I, if, if it comes out, if it looks good, I, I probably will. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to hear more about it in E3. Uh, I think that's the rumor, but I don't know if we're going to actually see it. And E3 is in 17 E3. days, right? Yeah, it's in a couple of days, and like, um, I think they already released like the time frame for the Xbox conference. That's gonna be two hours. It's gonna be a long one. So what days? What days is E three? Uh, fuck. It's like on June six or something. June sixth. I forgot. I might have to ask for those days off, guys. We're going to try to do a live stream. Oh, yeah, no. Regardless of what happens, so we're going to do a live stream. Yeah, we're going to try to do a live stream on the Twitch um, Uh, channel. To, to I mean, tr- it's officially 11th through the 13th, but I know it's, like, days before that. Uh, I'll look it up, but go ahead. Okay, yeah. So, essentially, we want to go ahead and, and try to do a live stream, and, and you, you guys can see our reaction. Uh, as far as... Uh, All right, here we go. Um, Friday, June the 7th. Here, let me pull it up here. Friday, the June the 7th, mm-hmm. we're going to have EA doing their EA Play event. Okay. And then we're going to go into Saturday, which is Nintendo. Okay. The Mario Company is holding its eSports tournament. I'll so be off those two days. Wait, no. That's not right. Because they, they do their stuff on like on a Tuesday. Yeah, no, okay. Theirs is on the Tuesday. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I can tell you. Okay. 
Okay, Sunday's where it's gonna start. Sunday's gonna be Microsoft's. Okay. That starts at one p.m. Mm-hmm. No, that starts at three p.m. Central, four p.m. Eastern. Okay. And supposedly we're gonna find out more about Halo Infinite. Yee! And some new games from Bethesda. Beth- Beth- Bethesda. Yeah, that that comes afterwards. So he's in the Microsoft conference, and then Bethesda, and then on Monday there's a PC game show. Uh, Ubisoft is doing their thing on Monday, mm. and then uh, the people that are gonna take over uh, Sony spot, uh, Square Enix, uh, comes on at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Uh, uh, night or nighttime. Okay. Oh, okay. So we might have time for all that. So. Um, but that's the Monday one. The Sunday one. We're expecting a lot of games to be announced. It's at 3 p.m. A lot of, and this this is going to be, in my opinion, I've been saying this since the very beginning of this podcast. I believe that Xbox year is here. Like. It's, it's and going then, to start coming. Like you're gonna get hit after hit after hit, and uh, Sony's just gonna do the Last of Us two. And then Tuesday, <laughs> June eleventh, uh, Nintendo's doing their Nintendo Direct, and that starts at twelve p.m. Eastern, eleven a.m. Central. Hey, you never know. And and, and moving to the next topic um, of consoles, uh, who knows? Maybe Playdate will unveil their new game. Hey, you know what? Too, I found out is that. Uh, so Sony and Microsoft are teaming up to to work on some cloud gaming services, but supposedly Sony don't want that supposedly much. the PlayStation team had no idea that the Sony Corporation was doing that with Microsoft, and they were kind of like pissed off about that. Oh really? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me if something stalled those the, that type of of. It's because Sony doesn't have the the backing of like for the networking for the future of like gaming in terms of like streaming and shit. But according to Lowe's, they're the best, and they have this, and they have that. They do have the better games. I disagree. I mean, I like all games equally, but like I said, I can't I mean, wait. Tell me, tell me like an Xbox exclusive game like you would recommend to somebody to play right now. Right now. Exactly. <laughs> I told you, is it going to be a big year for, for Xbox? Hey, man, I don't have a PlayStation. I have an Xbox. I play this shit all the time. But I'm just saying, like, Xbox needs to get the shit hey, together. Man. But then again, they never really had, like, exclusives like that. It was always third party. That's why. That's why I kind of got annoyed with Xbox, because they're the ones that let all that shit slide. I wouldn't have. Mm. I would have kept it just for Xbox. Well, then again, like, they weren't really, like, they had, like, a bunch of, uh, like, development teams, like, companies and stuff. Mm-hmm. But now they're, like, buying up, buying up everybody. Like, it looks like they're making their push for that now. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, there's a new console out and about, guys. Uh, it's going to be released next year. It's called Playdate. Um, hopefully, Elias can put a picture. It looks really weird. It has, like, a little crank. It looks like an old-school Game Boy. And it's going to only have da, 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 black and white games. Um, they have not released uh, Playdate. Who's making Playdate? Uh, uh, it's, it's some the same guys developer that... who made Firewatch. Yes, correct. It's like a, an indie game too. And and so this is a new system. It's supposed to be competition for the Game Boy. <laughs> I mean, there isn't a Game Boy anymore though. I know. It's all the Switch. So I, I don't understand what their competition is. Yeah. So this thing has like a crank to it, and like that's and you use it, that too fast. But that's not. That's reload. not. Yeah. The, but that's not even for the like the battery life. That's for the game itself. Which is really weird to me. It's a weird concept. It looks really weird, guys. Like, if you look at it, it looks like mustard yellow. Yeah. I'm and put, then I'm it has, like, the right A now. and B button. And then it has, like, the... Launches 2020 for $150. $150, guys. GGs. Now, um, my opinion, guys, I have not played the console. I have not seen the games. Don't buy it. Uh, save another 150 and get yourself a Switch. Um... <laughs> I mean... I'm for, already shitting on it. For come out. you can get, like... 30 bucks more, you can get like an Xbox or a PlayStation, really. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. They said that they were going to do it competitive. That doesn't seem competitive to me. Uh, and, but the other thing they're trying to do, too, is kind of like hype it up in terms of like being limited quantities. So, like, you know, a lot of people are going to get it just because of that kind of thing, too. Like, that's stupid, exclusivity. Though. That's stupid. Uh, but, you know, hey, man. People buy Taylor Swift albums, so I... I what the <laughs> fuck Taylor Swift have to do with this? Because, bro, and since the beginning of this podcast creation, I've been talking shit about Taylor Swift, because people buy Taylor Swift's album, and I don't know why. She's not that good. She I mean, is. She's not that good. Yeah, she's amazing. She she sounds like a nursery rhyme. Every time her songs, like, they just... What's her... I forget her fan base, what they're called. 
uh, who cares what they call they suck too and <laughs> so yeah guys this play date looks interesting i would not buy it if it's given to me for free sure why not you know i'll play a little <laughs> bit but uh, i'm not buying it now something that i'm very excited about that i we heard it's a rumor it's not confirmed as of yet um but for you guys that have been watching this show that one person uh no i mean it's not it's not a rumor it's happening I thought it was a rumor. No, no, no. It's been well, confirmed. Well, okay. You guys know I love Knights of the Old Republic. What's I that? love Knights of the Old Republic. The very first one for Xbox. It was one of the first games I played for Xbox, like, hardcore over and over again. Uh, you know, it was just amazing, amazing game. You learn about Revan. You learn about um, how you're Revan. Uh, spoiler alert if you haven't played that game. Um, you play, The way the gameplay was, uh, it was kind of, um, what's that called? Like, Final Fantasy, but you actually move. Uh, I never played. Uh, I don't know. It was, it's like an RPG. It was just. It was a mind blowing game. It's one of the best best games ever created, and they did such an excellent job. And so it was announced that uh, Knights of the Republic, a movie, is in the works. Now I don't know if it's based on that first video game, uh, but a movie is in the works, and I am excited in the aspect of that. I'm a huge fan of Knights of the Republic, the story and everything. The thing is, I don't know who's going to be directing it or leading it. I don't know if Disney's going to be involved in it. If Disney's involved in I it, I mean, right now they're I'm just not... they're just announcing the screenwriter. It's uh, Laika. Fuck, how do you pronounce that name? L A E T A. L A E T A. Leda. Leda, and then last name is K A L O G R I D I S. Kalagoras. Kalagoras. What the fuck Kal- is it? Kalgoras. Oh, she's she's from Star Wars too. <laughs> Yeah, is she one of the villains? Damn. Is she for real? Is she's a Sith? Anyway, um, uh, so I'm excited about it. It's it's pretty big news, guys, because this means that Disney or whoever's in charge of the Star Wars franchise is stepping away uh, from messing up the beloved um, Star Wars movies that we know from George Lucas. So, essentially... Damn, it's going to be a trilogy? Oh, it's going to be a trilogy? Ooh! Ooh! And they're going to find out about Revan. Ooh, I can't wait. And uh, Darth Malak, uh, of course. And then you find about Bastilla. Uh, this is supposed to be like how long before the original movies? Oh, this is way, way before. Like thousands, th- of thousands and thousands of years. You've never played Knights of the Old Republic, you whore? No, it looked boring. Bro, you should play it. You will love it. Nah. You can, man, it's so amazing. Nah, okay. um, guys, if you haven't played it, it's on Xbox... Uh, Game Live pass, pass. Game pass. Go pl- Game Pass. Yeah, go play it. Don't do it. Uh, it, it it's terrible. it's great. It looks terrible because it has. It, but it's aged gracefully. To be <clears throat> honest with you guys, no, it's it not that bad. I've played it recently and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, it but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that whoever directs it directs it correctly. Uh, I'm tired of seeing crappy Star Wars movies. Um, it's just they they ruined that franchise for me, which is kind of sad because that was like my favorite. I used to buy the books. And everything from that sucker and uh, everything, everything, lightsabers, <laughs> throw us a bell, but um, they fucked it all up. But it's all good, you know. But that's it for us today, guys. Um, it was a quick and painless show, so you know we we, we do miss Los, we do miss my sister Abby, we miss M. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, we have a hump day show. Check that out on Wednesday. We're going to talk about John Wick the movie. Um, also. Uh, we are on Anchor, Apple, uh, iTunes, I don't know all that stuff. Yeah. I'm not, no, I'm yeah, not, keep going. I'm not, uh, you got it. On Twitter, Insta, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, uh, your mom's. Deep we, inside. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. For sure. But yeah, we're all over the place, guys. Please check us out. Anytime you want to talk shit to me, feel free. Uh, especially to that loser who was talking shit on, on YouTube. Um, <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I got okay. comebacks for days. Bro, right. they're going to be doing that for days. Yeah. So, uh, uh, really quick, thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. Yes! 100 subscriber, guys. Yo, Imagine, we yuch. started at zero. Yuch. And it's been like, what? I would say four or five months since we started? August. We started in like December? August. August? Wow. So, it's almost a year. 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. Keep supporting us. We are trying to build up. We... Love your input. Please give me our input. Uh, subscribe, like the bell, uh, follow us, and we will try to do our best to give you great and excellent content. We have things coming up in the work, guys. Life is going on right now, so we're a little bit tied up at the moment. But hopefully in the next couple of months, um, we can get together, all of us, and get this show on the road. 
of uh, the way we would like to. But thank you so much for watching the show. Peace. Bye.